Okay, here's the thing. About <laughs> 10 minutes ago, I was world record redneck engineer holder title certificate. Uh, if you have this, bam! Okay, as you were saying, what's going on now? We are getting ready to put back in your sweet bar that you thrashed because you're a very vicious driver. I had broken in half. I don't, I don't know how, but... I don't know if I still have any of the halves. If I find any of the halves, oops, we got a cord right in the way here. If I find any of the halves, I'll show them to you. But uh, yeah. This is showing some truth to your guys' logo, mash, thrash, repeat. All right. Yeah, I know. Some people think we don't ride, but we ride a little bit. Uh, if you didn't ride, you wouldn't break stuff. I know. So, yeah, if we didn't ride, we wouldn't break stuff, and we wouldn't be... Well, I can't say we wouldn't be tuning the car. Some people do stuff to their car and don't ride it all that much. That's just whatever. doesn't matter. But anyway, we have a brand new... Uh, it's really... Uh, what do they call it? A stabilizer bar. Stabilizer bar? Yeah, or... Or anti sway because sway would indicate that you're making the car sway with this bar, you're trying to keep it from sway. And here's the thing so it hasn't really been an issue in the dune so much because uh, it's just uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, if any of you have driven these cars enough, you know that the way it handles on like where you have a lot of traction side to side uh, makes a big difference in whether you need that front sway bar. So on the street, when I'm turning, I can lift up. I actually, the other day, you didn't see it. You're right, I saw it. You can ask him. I did two wheels, but I can easily do three wheels all day long. I can cruise this thing around on three wheels, no problem. I've done many times. We don't really want to do that. Right now, we are doing a lot of zero to 60s, and we're getting faster and faster and faster each time. And and uh, as I noticed today, the car's- um, A little squirrely. It's, way, yeah, it keep, it's getting a little squirrely. Faster it goes. Now we're not talking about top speed fast. We're talking about when I mash the throttle, it starts even in full drive, even in full wheel drive now. Uh, so that I would say our new location has a little more bite than the old location. And even in, even with that more bite in full wheel drive, it's starting to break loose quite a bit again because we're pushing that horsepower even more and more. So what's happening is the car about the today, we did a zero to 60 separate video. You might've already seen that, or we're gonna see that, who knows. Um, about, I wanna say 30 miles an hour, started getting squirrely, straightened out, and then about 60 miles an hour started getting squirrely, just before 60. So prior to that, prior to today, it would start getting squirrely close to 60. You can probably see it in some of the videos if you go check out those zero to 60s, the most recent ones. Uh, the 4W, the 4RWI, I get that backwards every single time. Anyway. It's all right. Anyway, here's what's happening. This has got, so I just kind of started trying to fit it in there before we started this video. And um, they don't go in as easy as they come out, but maybe part of that's because the one that came out was broken half. So I just pulled this side off, I pulled that side off, no problem. I feel like we almost might have to pull a shock loose, jack it up. I'm not sure at this point. So I goofed with a little bit. I'm gonna see if Danny, Danny's pretty good at this kind of stuff because he does this kind of stuff a lot, more Wait, than what? I do. And so Danny's gonna fiddle around with it for a minute and then see if we get anywhere. And if we don't, then we're gonna have to what? Uh, pull a shock off? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what the procedure is. I have it like two thirds of the way through and that's kind of where it stops for me. Um, I don't know how well you can see up in here, but this camera does pretty good in low light. We might shoot a light in there. Let me, let me grab this handy dandy light that Brandy picked up a while back. How, I mean, this thing, you can't really go wrong with this. Look at this LED. It's always plugged in. I mean, you know, cords, are pain but so are dead batteries so this is actually awesome this is great for this work area out here look at get those nice sand crafts i'm almost thinking you're right about removing the shock because 
Here we got those nice sandcraft. Uh, we got these nice sandcraft. We got these nice sandcraft. <laughs> Spin it out already. What are they? Limit straps. I just my brain shut off for a second. You had food. What's your excuse now? I don't know. I don't need your excuse. Yeah, I, I um, I can't see it going through without taking a shock off or something, but I might be wrong. If anyone out there knows the trick to this, uh, throw it in the comments and I laugh at us. The easiest way is shock come off. Shock comes off. That's what I'm thinking. Well, at least we only have to do one side, and it's we'll just. So we're gonna throw a floor jack under there. We'll jack it up a little bit, pull one shock loose, and get it in there, right? Yep. All right, we'll be right back. So we got it jacked up. This tire is off the ground. Kind of almost was. Almost like your jack leaked a little bit. I think this jack is going to say goodbye bye and there's going to be a lighter aluminum one that was on sale for $59 the other day coming along. Uh, I actually got one from Harbor Freight. It's not bad. That's I have one in my trailer, my toy hauler, and I have one. That's what I'm talking about. That one. It's actually I, a two ton one because it has a longer radius. Yeah. The one ton, or the ones smaller than that, they don't have a oh, okay. long radius to it. All right. Yeah, that's right, Malloy. All right. You don't want to look at it when it's on. This tire is off the ground, so we're gonna pop this. Uh, we're gonna pop this uh, shock loose. You know, if anyone from Can Am watching this, can't you make these a little bit more accessible without breaking? Yeah. Make them, make them so they're, it's easier to come off so they fly away. So they don't do this, you yeah. know, break off so, so we're missing So far we've been lucky, we only, we only lost one. Well, I'm missing this one, this one, and that one. Oh, wow. And you it think? sucks because I have mine wrapped, so in order for me to get it back on, I had to hold by another piece of wrap to rewrap it. Wow. Such is life. You like. know what you do? You buy a new one, right? You cut these off, you drill them out, and you bolt them on the new one. And you shave these down a little bit so they're not so hard. But they're broke here at the plastic. Well, then you're screwed. Uh, double screwed. All right. Plastic weld. <laughs> Got them. All right. Here's what we're doing. Top bolt out of shot right now. Oh, you know what? That limit strap. Um, uh oh. Got to think about that. Because we are, oh yeah. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do is maybe back off the nuts. We might be able to get it back in. Huh? We might be able to get it back in. Okay, that's all right. Maybe. We'll get the bottom off and see where we're at. If we have a pro so I don't know if you guys can tell what's going on here. It's kind of see hard to see. The shock, actually, that's just the opposite. Um, maybe we just need to jack it up a little bit more. <laughs> There's an impact right, right behind you. Well, you know. There is, but sometimes, you know. Sometimes it's better to make it harder. People are stubborn. Yeah. Very. See? See what happens when you have to use your hand? Yeah, I wouldn't even be doing that. And that's flashing. Technically, is, you're is not the battery doing that. dead? Technically, you're not doing I that. I didn't say, I, w I said, yeah, I said I wouldn't do that. Oh. But. Because I can tire up. No more. No more. So basically what was happening is the limit strap was doing its job, which was binding it on that bolt, not letting us pull it off. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, we got the limit strap itself off. Now we're gonna jack it back up so we have, so we're able to get that bolt out. All right, so the bolt's coming out now. Oh, look at that. Shots coming out. Oh, look hey, at that. Hey, where are those from? MTS? MTS. Those are some working shops right there, I promise you. Oh, man, look how look how much easier it is to work on this thing now. It's real easy when you're behind the camera. I know. Why do you think I have... Why do you think I bought cameras? I'm real cool. Oh, maybe a little bit. Did it drop right in? 
Almost. Just about. I'm pretty excited to see how, man, we should have put that other uh, bushing on first. Or do that. So we gotta put that bushing on this side. <laughs> we gotta take the nuts off of the uh, limit strap brackets. Right? Yes, yes, yes. It was the same down level? Yep. Yep. You're tightening. You sometimes you gotta tighten and loosen, okay? I know. Well, it's, it kind of breaks the nut loose. I get yes. what you're saying. Yes. And I'm not clear minded right now, so yeah, for, but I was loosening, okay? I know. These things happen. It's not the end of the world, that's for sure. We're gonna break, so we'll break all this stuff loose and we will, uh, yeah, come right back. Okay, so that was harder than it looked. <laughs> Those bolts are, they're locking nuts and they do not come off easily, that's for sure. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, we gotta put that other bushing on, it's in this target bag right here. This bag, target bag of shame, we wanna unscrew that grease cert, it's easier to get on. And we need, we need that part, and we need this part. What part? Believe it or not, that craziness, I had to order this. Because somehow, we lost this piece. You know what it is? It looks like a piece of plastic. Open it up. You don't know what it is? Guess. The piece I'm gonna need right now? Yeah, that we lost. How the heck did you lose that? I don't know. Anyway, I ordered that piece. The, the part itself was $4.99, the shipping was $375. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it literally was about five dollars for the part and uh i don't know 15 or 16 dollars or something like that for the shipping pretty good scam i uh and they sent it in this box i don't know people but um yeah i don't, I don't think, think it needs to be in that big box uh, although i like that box you're gonna have to put that on because my thumbs are not able right now okay you took my thumbs i uh Stuck inside um, a blower motor housing. Oh yeah, don't do that. No, it took the skin right off and it's barely starting to heal, so I can't really put no pressure on the tip yet. Okay, so here's the deal. This is an upgrade, right? Mm-hmm. The I think the sway bar, the stabilizer bar, the anti-sway bar, whatever you want, I think it's the same. But what's not the same is, check this out. I think... This came all as a kit, the new sway bar and these new, bigger. Here's the old ones, right? Compared. Right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Big difference. We snapped a few of these. Dean snapped a few of these. Lots of people have snapped them. And so our solution has been for some time, and these actually held up really well, these guys. You can buy these. We made these out of just some Himes and some bolts and some random hardware that I just like, I'm like, oh, here, we'll add a washer and a spacer and this bolt and that bolt, and we got it to work. It was all fine and great. Yep, yeah. but we got this now. Hopefully I didn't lose the rest of this hardware. Look at that. Let's find out right now, because if I did, we're at a standstill. I sure not did. Okay, we got to drill out the arm too, the control arm. But that nut will work. All right, so, we gotta drill out the arm. We'll come back to that. Let's get this thing mounted up. That's the upgrade. So this piece goes this way. Uh, do we have the nuts? Yeah. So this piece, this goes over this. We gotta remember to put the grease certs back in. That goes over the top. Oops. And this all goes like a sandwich. Okay, like a sandwich. Goes in there. See if we can push those bolts 
up. They're, oh, they're under a lot of pressure. That's the problem over here. Uh, I'm gonna let this thing down a little bit. No shock on the other side. <laughs> that starts side starting to fall. Jack's done. I'm going to get a new jack after all this. Alright. I'm gonna start this other nut. Okay, that one started. Those are started. Let's go over here and get this other one. Oh here started. comes the fun part. Huh? Here comes the fun part. Little gear one. 19. All right. We're gonna get these ran down a little bit. Make sure they're lined up on both sides first. <laughs> get away! Get away! Yeah. 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 I can't do it. Here's our dilemma, right? This is a drill, right? Mm -hmm. We have to drill. So we're this this is we're to the upgrade part. Upgrade. Serious. Serious upgrade. Only to us, uh, 2017. I know we guys. all did that. Well, we already did this, but look at it's a serious upgrade to a 2017 guys that got yeah, really screwed up. All the stuff came out later for the best for the well, other guys. keep snapping like crazy. Here's the problem. I'll show you. 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 Problem is, this is bigger, right? Right. See how much bigger this is than that? Yeah, so you gotta. There's no fits in here. You gotta drill that control arm, that lower control arm out, right? Yeah. Problem number 17. We take drill. You don't fit in there. You can't drill that out. We're no shop. We don't shop. We don't have special stuff like. Angle drills, what are they called? 90 degree drill, what's it called? Angle drill. See, I, I'm so far from it, I don't even know what it's called. Because we're not a shop. But, if you have this, bam! You, have you redneck engineer. <laughs> now we the... It's a low speed drill. I, uh, do I want to record this? Absolutely, let's go. <laughs> let's see if this works. If this don't work, guess what? We're going to the store and buying a new tool. Because this is getting done today along with a new floor jack. I, I saw junk. I was going to say, I just seen a metal piece of metal. Oh. Hey, watch it! But we got to get a little pressure on it. Doing anything at all? Well, I don't see metal going up, so. This is probably some of this metal in this car. I'm gonna tell you right now. People don't realize it. They're like, oh, that roll cage is junk, it's super thin. That stuff is hard. It's metal. It's actually really hard. Try to drill it with a cheap drill bit. You'll find out in a minute. <laughs> with a cheap drill bit? Well, I'm just saying. It's like everything. You know, you got soft metal and you take a cheap drill bit to it, it'll go through it. Then that cheap drill bit is not cheap anymore. Quarter inch. Ain't no joke. Alright, so here's what I see happening. The dandy garage gets a new tool and a new jack. Because I don't see this happening. But man, what a good idea. We'll be right back. Okay, here's the thing. About <laughs> 10 minutes ago, I was world record Redneck engineer holder title certificate uh, AS degree. I don't know something, right? I'll show you. I'll pop it back up what I did. 
that's worthy of the title world renowned but not no more because look at this what do we got here we, we, <laughs> I mean, don't let don't let this sway your vote for us and the fact that it's not working. Don't let that be a deciding factor on who you vote for. Right? Exactly. Just go with it. But it does get a little warm. No toolboxes were harmed in the making of these tools. <laughs> They're embarrassed, but they weren't hurt. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's show them. Let's show, let's show the American people what we have here. We have extension. Wait, wait, start with the tool. We have an impact driver. And they go Milwaukee. We could swap that out for a drill. Not, adapter. Not, yeah, not impossible. A draft adapter to 3H uh, <laughs> drive. Extension. extension. To swivel. To adapter to quarter inch drive quarter inch socket, quarter inch shank on uh, step, uh, bit. step bit. Pushed it through, it worked. I wanted a new tool. But Danny you can still that. get a new tool. Well, I don't really, because I don't want to spend the money. Ask Brandy. She'd say, get the tool, and I'd be like, no, I don't want to get the tool. Oh, I promise, we're gonna make so much loud racket. You know how close you are to being through. Yeah. Well, you could switch that out for a drill. I could. But that'd be too easy. This is true. And it'd be, a, it'd be like, a, I don't know, 1% less rednecky. Yeah, it'd still be redneck, dude. <laughs> I think you just popped through. That's a pretty hard metal. So one more. We're gonna have to let that cool down for a minute. It's so close. I feel like if we had a deburring tool at this point, we'd just push it onto it. <laughs> so close. Oh, you can't give it up, can you? No, I can't. What part's hot? The whole freaking thing right here. Okay. Especially this pine cone. Where'd you get this pine cone bit from? Harbor Freight. Oh, never mind. Wow. <laughs> Is the bit that hot? Yeah. Okay. All right. Should we get some cold water? No. Let's sit for a second. So this is a win, uh, Danny. I gotta give it up to Danny. Uh, he wins, definitely. Wait, wait, do me a favor. I'm over here in front of the car. All right, all right, so we're back and it's almost, is it almost through? It's either through or it's gonna be stuck. One of the two. Uh -huh. Either through or stuck. Those are words you never wanna hear. Nope. Okay, just in a little update. It's so close, but not quite. So Danny's still rednecking it up. Rednecking hard. All right, so Danny just won that battle. It's in, look at that. All we gotta do is throw some nuts on these things. And we are done. Uh, button up this other side, put the shock back on. So we'll be back. We'll maybe go for a little test drive. All right, so Danny wins uh, Redneck Engineer of the Year. Decade, probably. Uh, and here comes the series upgrade. We've been working for these. Going back to stock. Doesn't mean we won't use those other ones if, if uh, we have a problem with these. But in the meantime, we're going back to stock. These are brand new. We just got them. We're going to throw them on there with the head. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're on the home stretch here. We're uh, bolting these new serious upgrade. Uh, okay. We're gonna get a different ratcheting device in here in a minute. 
as I've had these come loose multiple times, and they end up breaking. Alright. Alright, we might have to come back. I get I gotta see if I can get Danny to hold this wrench. Okay. So we're back. We tightened, we cranked those uh, nuts down on the on the stabilizer bar in links. Now we're gonna throw the shock in, we're done, right? Yeah. I uh, have uh we can still report for that or we just cut out because I believe everybody knows how chocolate goes back on. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to throw the shock on. I might shoot a little video. I might take it down the road. Uh, we'll see what happens. But we're going to throw the shock on and we'll be back. And we'll tell you what, uh, how that all went. Okay. So we finished up. Danny had to cut out. It's getting late. Uh, I already kept him all day on this stuff. We appreciate him so much. He comes and helps us out. He runs the camera. He turns the tools, the wrenches, the sockets, the ratchets, or whatever. He does it all. He helps us out so much, and we appreciate it so much. We also appreciate everyone else. Dean comes and helps us out. Helps us out. Uriah, Uriah has been coming and helping us out. Rob, uh, we, appreci we appreciate all you guys very much. Uh, so what we're doing is, is uh, we're done. We put new, cool, shiny uh, parts on. I'll show you, show you that in a minute. In the meantime, uh, Brandy says peace. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, check us out on Facebook, Patreon, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. We can try to keep people a little bit updated on some of the other uh, areas just so you know what's going on. In the meantime, check this out. Uh, right here we have shiny new parts. Uh, stabilizer bar inlinks, new stabilizer bar. We haven't ran with that guy for, I don't know, a while a good year probably so we're gonna we're gonna go take it for a little spin just down the street and back i'm gonna grab a gopro and i'll take you guys along okay i know it's windy but it feels super planted compared to what it did i'll show you like a hair ready 